Good morning, say hi. Long time no see. We are walking up to Amelia's room because we are going to change her and possibly go to bed. Here, turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Yeah, you know where it's at. Long time no see, everybody. <laughs> say hi! Little Miss is now eight months old, and she is a complete and utter handful. <laughs> say hi! She doesn't know how she feels about the camera. Say hi! Hi! <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I know it has been a hot second since I have seen you guys. I have seen some comments where you guys wanted updates. So, today, I decided I was going to pick the camera back up and let you guys catch up with us and hopefully keep vlogging cross my fingers <laughs> that i can keep vlogging on a consistent basis but anyways let's get this day started with miss emile i'm going to put her down for a nap i think and then possibly take her eight month picture she just turned eight months two days ago so this mom is behind but <sighs> I'm just trying to keep up. It's summer, y'all. All right, you ready to get your nap on? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Amelia is down for her nap, and let me just see, like, I don't know, maybe it's just my kids that do this during the summer, but this is the pantry door that's constantly open. See, exhibit A, let's see, exhibit B, half-eaten apple, exhibit C, D, like, shall we continue on? And mind you, oh, and all my drawers are open. Like, all my drawers. Like, what are you looking for? Are you that ravenous? Because I know whenever I send you to school, your little ass doesn't eat any single thing that I pack. But now, now we just have half-eaten apples, macaroni and cheese. Like, does anybody else's kids do this during the summer where they literally are just a bottomless pit? Like, I mean, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. Okay, I figured while Amelia is asleep, I could catch you up on a lot of the things that have been going on. I don't even remember where we left off, honestly. I think it was the government shutdown, I think. Anyways, shortly after that, um, my husband got deployed for a couple of months and the boys have never done that before. I've been away from him for that long, I guess. And so um, that was really exhausting <laughs> in and of itself. So that's another reason why I didn't really vlog was because I was just constantly on the go. And the boys were just constantly asking like where dad was and trying to have to explain that and then not really knowing where he actually was. So yeah, I think that was just exhausting in and of itself so um yeah we just it's just been oh, just so exhausting having an eight month old a seven year old and a nine year old so can you hear the thunder outside it's getting bad out there but i feel like we held through pretty good with this deployment and it was the first time that we've ever done it and i feel like I guess everything kind of went as smoothly as it possibly could. Uh, so yeah, we made it. <laughs> it's a miracle, nobody died, nobody got killed. <laughs> you never know when you're left alone with your children for a certain amount of months with just them, just them. Now mind you, my mom was here to help me, but dear God, like even with two of us, it was just, 
like exhausting every single day like exhausting oh and then during that time period my mom got fifth's disease then i got fifth's disease and that is no joke that is no joke like i had never heard of it. well i had heard of it before but i hadn't actually like seen like what it had what could occur with adults i'd seen it with children like the slapped face or whatever with kids but this was legit like i literally like almost prayed to die because that is exactly how painful it was like i kid you not like i am not even over exaggerating when i say i could not roll over in my bed to get a drink of water like i was in so much pain like even doing this with my hands like was so painful um and then i went to the base doctor and he's like just take some ibuprofen and i had some leftover ibuprofen 800s from when i had my um wisdom teeth removed and that was not touching the pain at all period like not touching the pain and i don't like taking pain medications because i don't know like for some reason it makes me feel nauseous the next day so i really just toughed it out and i took like really warm baths which didn't absolutely nothing um i was in a lot of pain thankfully like thank god my mom had it the week before i did so by the time i had it she was able to take care of the kids like i don't even know what we would have done if we both had it at the same time because there was absolutely no way in this world we could have gotten out of this bed um and a couple of our neighbors got it too so it's just thank god like certain things happened the way that they did but <sighs> We all made it out alive. We're all here to vlog it and talk to you guys about it. So, all right, I guess I better go watch those kids before my house blows up. It sounds like the baby is officially awake. So let's go upstairs and get her. It's really dark up here. Let's go up here and get her. get up yes please okay let's get up oh Amelia let mommy get your picture sit back sit back let me get your picture you can't get off the couch ma'am excuse me excuse me hello Hello. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, you're gonna have to sit back. You're not permitted. Okay, second peeve of summer break is, I don't know if you but look at all these lights that are on right now. See, we have good light between these windows right here, and yet we still have like 100 lights on. Oh, look at all these lights. See, all those lights right there. Not to mention the stair light. Yeah, because it's so dark up here that we need all these lights. Why do we leave on a hundred freaking lights in this house? Like, mind blown. Anyways, I need to get started on dinner because we have swim team in a little bit. And this little one is really like being FOMO about everything and wants to be held all the time. So, going to try and get some stuff done before we head off to swim lessons. So, let's get started on pre-making dinner, I guess, after I kill all these lights. Okay, while we're talking about food, um, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about Amelia and what I started out with doing with her with solid. Um, so, with all the boys, She's sitting up here with me, but I'm watching her. With all the boys, I have always made my own purees, so I started off doing um, that with Amelia. And 
she pretty much liked everything that I made her and then I just kind of got lazy not to saying that this is lazy because it's not it's definitely hard work but then I started doing baby led weaning because I'm like well she let's just see if she can eat what we can eat so I mostly do baby led weaning now and basically that's just what you eat your baby eats so she pretty much has dinner with us she eats whatever we eat um obviously within reason but so today for her snack, I'm gonna give her this banana, which I cut into, I don't know if you can tell, like little um, cuts right here. It's not focusing very good. But I just made a couple cuts, and then I peel the first part of it off, like this, so that she can have something to grip. Because if I just peeled the whole banana and gave her the whole banana, she would not be able to hold it like this. So. We're gonna give her this banana for her snack today. She pretty much eats like whatever we eat. So tonight, I am making the Mississippi pot roast. If you guys have not tried it, you definitely should. It is so good. Um, I just got an instant pot not too long ago and this is one of the ones that I really enjoy making. Um, I will try to put the link down in the description so that you can try it if you want. But my kids love it. Amelia hasn't tried it yet because she was asleep last week. Um, but yeah, it's super good, super easy. So I'm gonna try to pull this together before we go to swim class so that when we come home, we have a nice meal. So let's get started. too close to the onion. Look, Emil. Look, let me see your eyes. You can't really see what her eyes were. She's so interested in this camera. Hi. Yeah, her eyes. <laughs> You're so cute. Say hi. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna get you. 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 I love you. Was that Nana good? Yes. Okay. She sat a little too close to the end. My eyes are even burning. <laughs> but I didn't even think about that while she was here. So, all right, let's keep it moving. Let's, we're almost done with prepping. So, just a couple more things. Now that I have dinner in the pot, my bag packed right there, now it's time for us to head out the door so we can go to swim class. So I will see you guys in just a second. It was baby approved, look. Her plate is pretty much completely gone. She left a carrot. 
what she had in her mouth. Emil, was that good? Oh, she's still going for more. Oh, she really wants that carrot, look. Here, you want your carrot? Good job. Good job! Okay guys, so you saw what we had for dinner. You saw a little bit of our day and after swim class, we came home, we ate dinner, which you saw, and then I meant to bring the camera with me to the food trucks, because we have those in our neighborhood, and we rode the golf cart over to the food trucks, and they had funnel cakes there, and these funnel cakes are legit. So every time this lady comes to our neighborhood, like I drop whatever I'm doing, and I go over there. Not that I need it, but you know, it's an, it's an extra like little bonus of life. Anyways, <sighs> today is over. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to go watch Handmaid's Tale, watch Southern Charm, I don't know, like whatever I find to watch on TV. Anyways, um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and I will see you guys later. Bye everybody.